What's going on YouTube? I want to talk about silver price manipulation or price manipulation in general. Now since I've become interested in silver I've heard all this talk about price manipulation and it does make some sense that these big companies would have an interest in keeping the price of silver low. But I think that the real story in price manipulation is inflated perceived value in consumer goods and, and just junk that you don't need in general. I really think that the real price manipulation that's going on is in Twinkies. You know, you heard this talk about Twinkies. Nobody cared about Twinkies, you know. Nobody was eating Twinkies, maybe a few people. But after they made all this hype about Twinkies going out of business, there was people lined up looking at the shelves hoping there'd be Twinkies there when I went to the store. Um, you know, nobody's nobody was interested in Twinkies before they broke the news that they were going out of business and people were selling them on eBay and all this kind of stuff. So they created a big perceived value in Twinkies where people actually thought Twinkies were something worth buying. I see the same thing with all these cell phones and you know new tablets and different things. These uh, Black Friday sales. I mean they talk about people sleeping outside of the stores in order to get in and get a sale on something. Um, most of this stuff they're hyping up is going to be junk in a couple of years. You know, nobody's in the future, your, you know, great grandkids or something, they're not going to be concerned about whether you had an iPhone or not. Um, they're going to be interested in gold and silver. It's just like when we went into Egypt, when we were looking through these tombs and, you know, doing archaeology, we were looking for the gold. We weren't, you know, we weren't looking for their gadgets at the time. So I think that the real price manipulation is in this overhyped perceived value, which in turn keeps the value of silver low. They're hyping all this stuff that, that people really don't need and creating the perception of value with these items. You know, if, if you left a, you know, silver, silver sitting there and an iPhone, someone's going to take the iPhone every time because the media has told them that that's where the value lies. When in reality, it's just a disposable product that they lived without for, you know, years. Everybody got by without these things. So I think that that's the real story is that they're creating, there's a limited amount of resources that people have. So when they create the perception of desire behind these goods, people put their, their money into purchasing those items and, and coveting those goods as opposed to the things of real value like silver and gold. Um, I think that that's where the, the price manipulation really lies because of an inflated value on these other items. There's a, a lower demand and lower amount of resources being put into the things of real value. So that's, that's I mean, look at this Sai, Sai and Gangnam style. Where nobody cared about that before. Nobody was interested in, you know, Korean rap music or something, but now they put it on the news that that's the big hit everybody's got to check it out, it's the cool thing to do, so everybody's watching that. Um, if they did something like that with silver and gold, I mean, to the moon's the only price for the prices to go. So, I think that that's the real story as far as price manipulation goes. You know, everybody's lined up to get the new phone or the new TV. If they, if they were as interested in silver, there's a 1964 quarter. That's real money if you look at the definition of a dollar. Um, it's a it's a fixed amount of silver. That's what it is. I'll put that in the stack right next to the nickel. My display case. So yeah, I mean, you know, they've just created all this hype about phones and Twinkies and Korean rap music and you know the latest fad to keep everybody's focus away from where the true value lies, the things that they should really be, you know, seeking to invest in. Someday that'll all change, but for now that seems to be the way it is. So, in the meantime, keep on stacking.